Hey, and welcome to New Horizons Designs on YouTube. And Happy New Year! I hope that 2020 left you feeling like you can tackle anything life has to throw at you in 2021. Let's just crush some goals. One of the main things I've been trying to focus on through my sewing is slowing down. Taking my time, making muslins, choosing fabrics that I absolutely love, picking patterns that are gonna work for my body type and my style, researching and learning new techniques that are gonna help me enhance my sewing skills on my sewing journey. You know, all the things that make us better, well-rounded sewists. Part of that is working on fit and altering pretty much every pattern so that it fits my body. It hugs and holds my body the way that I want it to, the way that feels comfortable to me, and the way that I'm envisioning in my mind when I think of creating a garment. I mean, isn't that why we started sewing to begin with? And if you are new to New Horizons Designs on YouTube, I wanna send out a big thank you for clicking on this video. This is a community-driven sewing channel where you're gonna find all kinds of amazing creative content to implement into your craft practice. So thank you for checking us out. I'm Kate, one of the contributors here on the New Horizons Designs YouTube channel, and today we're gonna to look at a simple alteration that makes a big impact. And since we're creeping up on the day of love, I thought it would be really appropriate to work on something that can be elevated just a little bit for that special date night. You know, double whammy. I know a lot of us can't or won't be going out with our lovers this year, but I mean, that doesn't mean that we can't get dressed up. Heck, that might even mean you wanna put in a little more effort, if you know what I mean. Anyway, the modification we're gonna be making is at the waist point. If we look at a torso, there are many different points where a bodice and skirt could meet. This could be anywhere from the, right under the bust all the way down to the hips or even lower. It could even be above the bust if you want a specific type of look. Each different horizontal line or seam represents a different look, style, and comfort level. And not every person is going to be in love with every style on their particular body. For me, I like to have my seam hitting me at my narrowest point, which is my natural waist. I like to minimize the attention on my hips because I find that if the seam is going right across that wider point of me, it just makes me look ill-proportioned. So I like to have that seam at my natural waist, like I mentioned, which is what I consider peplum. It's not right under my bust, which I would consider empire or empire waistline. So it's a bit lower than empire, but a bit higher than dropped waist. Confused yet? Maybe we should just jump into the tutorial so this all makes sense. I'm gonna be using the New Horizons Designs Manhattan dress pattern simply because I find that it can suit for something special like a date night, but yet we can still use the same dress for a more casual event or like a wedding or something that I'm gonna get more wear out of. So I thought the fun V-back was a nice detail to have for a Valentine's Day dress. I also think that it would look great with any waistline that you want to choose. The line drawings show a little bit more of a lowered waist than I particularly prefer for my specific body, so I'm going to be altering it to just be a little bit higher to hit me right at my natural waist. Before we get started, it'd be great if you could hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps out YouTubers like us so we know what you're into, if you like the content that we're creating, so that we can create more great fitting content for our viewers. Okay, let, now let's get into this tutorial. The first thing you're gonna need to do is take some measurements. Actually, just one. <laughs> All you need is a, from your armpit down your side to wherever you want that bodice skirt seam to be. Like I said, for me, I'm gonna be doing it at my natural waist. So if you don't know where your natural waist is, a really great way to find out is to take a piece of elastic, fairly long, uh, long enough to go around your body, and just tie it snugly to your body. You don't want it tight. It doesn't need to be tight. Just kind of so that it's it's stretched across and it's going to stay put where we, we need it to but can still move to where we also need it to. 
just hang on. <laughs> and then once you have that tied around you, you're just gonna do some shimmying, some bending, do a little dance, wiggle, and make sure that that elastic is kind of shifting around. That's what you want. It's going to settle into the narrowest part of your waist, which is your natural waist. So once you have that point, you can then measure from your armpit down to that point. So for me, this measurement is about eight inches. So you now need to compare your measurement to the pattern piece. So you can either do this directly on the printed pattern piece or the projected image if you're using a projector, or you can just hold the piece right up to your body. Just remember to keep in mind that there is a seam allowance at the shoulder seam and also where the bodice connects to the waist. So we need to keep those two measurements in mind because that will be subtracted from the bodice measurement. The shoulder seam allowance will mean that the paper is held up a little bit past your shoulder top and then the seam allowance for the bottom for the bot where the bodice connects to the skirt that's actually going to come off of that waist measurement that you took so make sure you keep that in mind so now whichever method you choose to do you're going to want to mark on your pattern piece where you want the the seam to hit when it's finished where you want that line to be like I said mine is at my natural waist so I'm going to hold it up to my body and mark on there where the, where I want the seam to hit or I can just measure down from the armpit eight inches. Keeping in mind seam allowance at the underarm as well. If you are lengthening the bodice, obviously you can't mark on the pattern piece. You can tape a piece of paper to the bottom of the bodice and then mark there, but just be cautioned, we probably won't be adding length to the bottom of the bodice and I'm gonna explain that in a minute. You just wanna mark where you want that to hit you just so you have kind of a reference point. Okay, so now it's time to make the adjustment. This is gonna kind of depend on where you want the adjustments to be made and if you're shortening or lengthening but the general rule is we want the curves of the pattern and the fabric and the garment to match the beautiful curves of your beautiful body so just keep that in mind when you're altering a pattern you'll notice on the bodice that it kind of curves in at the natural waist and then flares out a little bit more for the hips we want to maintain that general shape. So it's going to depend on what your body looks like. For me, I have that extra length in my waistline. So I want to make a horizontal line across the waist, which is perpendicular to the fold line of the fabric. Um, because I want to be raising up the bottom of the bodice part and make that waist part just a little bit smaller, I'm going to be drawing a horizontal line across the waistline perpendicular to the fold or edge center line of the pattern piece so then I'm going to cut across there and just overlap to reduce the amount that I need if you're adding length there maybe you have a longer torso or you want the the skirt to be even more drop wasted then you would just tape a piece of paper behind there or on top and add as much as you need it. If you want to add a little bit of length in the hip portion, then you would do the same thing but just lower down. I just caution you not to add too much to the actual bottom of the bodice because we do want to maintain the size and shape that the bottom of that bodice piece is so that it matches nicely with the skirt. And make sure you do this for both the front and back bodice pieces. And if you're using a, a different pattern, maybe something with princess seams or different um, style lines on the bodice, make sure you're adjusting all of the pattern pieces as well. Now I've kind of gotten into the habit of making muslins. Again, like I said, I just wanna focus on making clothing that fits my body the way I want. But before I did this, or if I were to make a muslin and then it was like super close and I would I wanna just like alter it a bit so that it fits, or maybe you bought something from the thrift store, what you can do is you can attach or cut and reattach where the seam line is. So if I were to make a muslin, I could just do the bodice, construct the whole bodice, and then construct the whole skirt separately, and then baste them together, and then I could check out where does this hit me, do I wanna raise it up a bit? Unfortunately, you wouldn't really be able to lower it unless you added in another strip of fabric or made a separate bodice or skirt, but once you have that, and it like, for me, for example, it would be fairly close, so I could just trim off the bottom of that bodice. I said to do this with caution, so it's probably not going to look exactly as it would if you were to you know, do the actual adjustments on the paper pattern, but I would be able to just trim the bottom of the bodice and then reattach the skirt to that, um, but it wouldn't, 
it just wouldn't maintain the exact same shape because we, again we're cutting off the bottom of that bodice piece which has been engineered or designed to fit the, that skirt where the seam is does that make sense so now for my specific example is that a thing a specific example <laughs> Um, so I'm using a size 14 bodice and then a 12 skirt. So I'm actually going to be grading down into the 12 at the waist. I'm doing a 14 bodice just to avoid a full bust adjustment and because the fabric I'm using isn't quite as stretchy as the recommended fabrics. So my bust is larger, so that's what I'm doing. So on the size of 14 pattern piece, the side measurement is nine and a half inches. Now, once we subtract the, um, the three eighths inch from the bottom of the bodice where it's going to seam together with the skirt, I also, so I need to account for the bottom of the bodice seam allowance, which is gonna attach the skirt, as well as the underarm. There's going to be a seam allowance there, whether you're doing a sleeve or sleeveless it is a little bit different on the sleeve version so just take that into consideration it's a little bit lower so you might not need to reduce as much from the um, from the bodice or you might need to reduce more depending on what you're going for three eighths of an inch seam allowance times two is three quarters of an inch nine and a half inches of the side seam minus three quarters of an inch is eight and three quarter inches and I want to be at eight inches so I need to reduce that waistline portion by three quarters of an inch which really doesn't sound like much but it does make a difference and it's the reason I've come to rely on test garments or muslins because again I just want it to fit perfectly it's also worth mentioning that whatever you do to the bodice whether you lengthen it or shorten it it's going to affect the overall length of the dress so obviously if you lengthen the bodice then the skirt length is going to be shorter if you have short legs like I do this might not even be an issue it actually I didn't have to adjust the dress length or the skirt length at all but if you have longer or shorter legs or you're lengthening or shortening more than I was then you might consider um, then you might have to also alter the skirt length which can be done at the bottom or you can hack into the middle as well and lengthen or shorten it there so that's it now once you have all your adjustments made you can just construct your garment as usual and I think you'll find that after some practice and getting to know patterns a little bit better where that armpit is gonna sit and things like that you'll find that this alteration is really really helpful in getting the look that you want out of whatever pattern you're using also take into consideration the fabric if you're using something really heavy and drapey like maybe a bamboo it is going to drag down on that seam and it will sit lower than what you intended um, you can definitely stabilize your seams with maybe twill tape or clear elastic or something like that as well and that'll kind of help it a little bit from falling down too much but there is just that weight there that pulls it down and that's it friends thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video I hope it was helpful again thank you so much for watching I hope 2021 is amazing for you don't forget to hit that subscribe and thumbs up buttons and maybe even leave us a comment letting us know what your plans are for February 14th have a good one bye